Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and Nova Voice and Data Systems, and today um, we're going to show you how to fish a wall or add cables uh, to a wall, and in particular, a very difficult wall. Uh, this wall is made out of wood and it has fire breaks, and fire breaks are the horizontal um, the two by fours that they put in the wall. It makes it really difficult uh, to fish, and right here we have a, a, a two by four most likely we can't get through it now we can't cut a hole here in the drywall it makes drywall damage however since we're adding a uh, cable and this cable is already there in place what we're going to do is we're going to cut that cable we're going to tie a pull string to it and then we're going to pull it up the wall attach the additional cable to the pull string and pull the old cable and the new cable down to the outlet So and don't reuse jacks they're really not worth reusing um, so we're going to be using a new jack here in this place one of the ways you want to tie your pull string is like that and then you want to tape it and you want to tape it for two reasons one is uh, so it doesn't spread out as you're going up the pull string doesn't and get caught on something and therefore you lose your your uh, your ability to pull it out through the top and secondly, it really holds that um, pull string close to the uh, cable, uh, which makes it uh, thinner to go through that hole that someone drilled in that 2x4. Now, most commercial buildings um, are made with uh, steel beams, you know, wire, uh, not wire, metal 2x4s, and they are very easy to fish. Uh, so you want to make sure you understand what, you know, what uh, building you're dealing with when you decide to cable. If it's wood, it's going to take you twice as long. It's going to be difficult. If it's a steel beam, it's very easy. Uh, you can zip right through it in no time at all. But this is going to be a difficult wall to fish. So as soon as he's done, he's going to go up on a ladder and he's going to pull up on that, that uh, white cable, not the blue one, but the white one. And he's going to attach the additional cables that have to come down the wall. And then when he does that, will be able to pull the cables out. So bear with me now. And I give you a little bit of commercial while we're doing this. Uh, all these parts that we use here at NOAA Voice and Data Systems, we sell in our sister company called CableSupply.com. And uh, um, it's quality stuff. And uh, a lot of people think, well, because the price is so low, it's therefore not, not as quality as, uh, as uh, uh, where they, they buy the parts at a higher price. Um, but in reality, these are the parts we've been using for years, and we've never had any problems either with the cable, the jacks, or the patch panels. So don't be deceived just because the price is lower than what you can get anywhere else. Uh, the quality is high, and we, we don't sell junk. Um, this is the stuff that we have used so it's tested and one of the reasons why we have CableSupply.com is so that we can sell more products and therefore buy in bulk and get a lower price and we pass that on to you. Now as you see up here uh, the technician is attaching the additional cables to the pull string and he's going to make that as tight as he possibly can so it's going to go through the hole hopefully go through the hole we hope that hole's big enough there at the fire break but he's going to push it in there and what I'm going to do for him and you can watch me do it is I'm going to pull down on the pull string and hopefully we can get all the cables through that one and there they come so there's our additional cables is it all down mm -hmm. okay so you pull out the excess and notice this excess here a lot of people think that's waste, but you know the most expensive cable on earth is the cable that's one inch too short. So a little bit of excess is, is great like that. Plus, you know, the nice thing about that excess too, it gives you a little bit of room to work. So as you're punching down the jacks, you can actually use the floor, and then you just push the excess back into the wall. And next time when you need to add another jack, or you need to do some work on this, this wall plate right here, it, it makes it easier. Uh, if you make the cable too short, it takes extra time, and if you make it way too short, you're going to have to pull the cable uh, again. So add a little extra. And uh, what you notice is the technician is going to come down, he's going to cut that pull string off the end. 
then he's going to wind up the excess cable and just leave it right there and then when they come by they're going to repaint this wall the cable is going to get painted but it's no big deal because we're going to come in and we're going to replace that cable I mean that jacks and all and uh, but we're going to wait till after the paint is done uh, after the paint's done and preferably after the carpet's down and that's called setting finish so first thing is pre-cable that's what we're doing now and after we're completely done it's going to be called set finish and uh, then it's ready for testing and use but you don't want a jacket before the wall has been painted or else they'll paint right over your jack sometimes it looks pretty sloppy uh, again this is uh, Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and you can buy all these parts and tools that we're using today at that website and I'm also with Nova Voice and Data Systems thank you for your time please visit our websites